Once you have all your fabric cut, you're gonna just go ahead and lay it out and lay the frame right on top of it and wrap the um, fabric right over the frame. When you lay your fabric out, lay it out as straight as possible. That way when the feathers are vertical, the fabric also like it, it flows vertically instead of like having any weird dips in the fabric after gluing it. So I already started to glue it here and you literally just wrap it over and glue gun in here. I can show you that right now. And I'm doing it lefty, so actually I can't. <laughs> I can't even do it lefty to show you. Let's switch here. And you literally just glue, if my glue gun would work. And you just use the glue gun to mush the fabric right into the frame. And I went a little overboard there because I'm trying to do two things at once. Not working out for me. Once you're done with the first side, wait to the end, um, flip it over and do the other side and then do the other wing. And then once you're completely done, just clip off all the excess fabric, including on the side. Once we're done with both wings, I'm going to come back and um, trim the actual wing itself because we don't want to feather all that. It's too much fabric and it doesn't really add to the look. It more looks like a sheet of feathers instead of like wings. Um, so you'll want it to taper a little bit and to help that along, we're going to cut it that way. Something I'm not doing today is, uh, because I didn't buy the fabric, is I'm not covering this with the velvet or felt fabric that I have linked in, um, in all the products in the first blog post. I just didn't buy it. Another thing that this needs is a little stabilizer piece in the middle. It'll keep it from spreading apart and coming together, and it'll give you a place to clip on your um, back piece. Okay, the fabric is now spread out and glued the way that I need it to be. My tiles are 18 inches square for reference. Um, I'm going to start cutting. Let me see if I can mark this, even though I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna taper them like that. And that's actually not even gonna be the whole taper by the time they're done, because when we turn them around to do the back part, they're gonna get tapered even more. Um, but that's just like the general starting point for where they start to taper. Yay, we're finally ready for feathers. Okay, so we're back where um, <clears throat> I've trimmed the excess fabric from um, the front side or whatever side of these. And then I'm going to come over and put more glue along the top. And I'll probably like let it spread to the back before I start working on it. Um, I've just used a backdrop stand to clamp this to. It's the easiest thing. If this was wrapped and the little crossbar was across the top, it would be a lot easier to have it on here. I had to kind of like maneuver it on there. Okay, so um, one of the things to keep in mind when you're um, getting ready to place your feathers, when you're selecting them, is that they're kind of curved, um, both like a C curve and then an outward curve. So when you're placing them, just keep in mind what you want that to look like. And I'm actually happy with this and I'm alternating um, some that curve this way and some that curve that way um, on this and I'll turn it to show. So I'm just going to take this and if they have like a long quill, um, I snip it off. That one's okay any longer and it'll like poke through um, and it's unnecessary. So I would just snip that off. Then you're just going to take your glue gun and put your dot of glue like right in the feather area, but like not in the bare part where there's no feathers. And I don't really let that set. <clears throat> and then I just take it and um, place it on my fabric and then I pull the fabric kind of tight and just hold the feather and the glue and the fabric all kind of tight to each other for a second for it to set and it like instantly just sets. 
And that's what I have so far. So I'm probably around the point where I'm going to start curving um, the feathers so they flare a little. Um, <clears throat> and I'm also switching to the longer feather now. So you're just going to hold the feather like this and you're just going to gently bend it. I forgot to mention, as you're doing these ones that are kind of diagonally placed, um, you'll want to do a slightly longer glue strip because that little dot isn't going to hold them in their like diagonal position. And then also whatever is resting against the frame, you'll want to glue to the frame. So as there's movement, there's no separation showing in any photos because you're just going to hate your life if you have to edit anything like that.
Okay, I absolutely flew through making these, um, well, the front of these, and I am out of feathers. This is what I have left for feathers. I'm probably going to need another 50 to 70. Um, I'll probably get the 14 to 16 inches. So this is the back. Um, this is what it looks like. And then this is what it looks like when you pinch in the middle. Um, and then I just use a little clip here, um, which is removable. That way I can line it up and then go around the front and make sure I like where that dips. And I feel like that's pretty perfect. It could come up a tiny bit higher. Um, no, I think that's pretty perfect right where it is. Let me see what it would look like higher. So I moved the clip up and I actually like it um, pinned up even higher. And uh, one of the main reasons is because when this is worn, you're gonna want that to taper like around where the elbows kind of are and not like at their knees. Um, so, like I said, I've just put a little clip here. It's the end of my night tonight, plus I'm out of feathers, so I'm not really motivated anymore. I'm gonna do the other side, and then um, I'm gonna use actually safety pins to hold it together, and then I'm gonna put glue over the safety pins. I'm gonna order more feathers, and as you can see, that will be all that's left of the back. I'm gonna hot glue this to itself so it doesn't come apart, but it looks pretty just like that. And then once it's all done, um, I'm gonna go through and make sure that there's no bare looking spots. I actually use some of the damaged feathers cut up and just put them in wherever there was white showing and i think that you guys are all good to go with just those instructions have fun